All right, we're here today to talk about MLock, Magpul's Modular Locking Negative Space Attachment System. Uh, to understand MLock, we've got to talk a little bit about its predecessor, the Mo system. So the Mo system was developed in 2007 for the Magpul Masada, which later became the Bushmaster ACR. And it was a negative space attachment system that allowed you to put accessories on a smooth handguard without the need for Picatinny rails or any kind of other hardware. You could bolt it straight through the vent holes in the handguard. And in 2009, Magpul rolled the Mo system out into a lot of its common handguards, the original Mo carbine, mid-length, and rifle handguards, uh, the SGA4N for the shotgun, uh, and some other products on the market, like the Knight's Armament Magpul Dynamics Rifle, all use the Mo attachment system. Um, millions and millions of those handguards were shipped, so it was probably the most prolific non-Picatinny rail system attachment of its time. Uh, but it had a lot of drawbacks. Um, and one of the primary ones, uh, it was an off-the-shelf weld nut and screw that you would put through the hole in the handguard, but you had to get to the back side to access it. So if you needed to attach something, it was kind of fidgety, or you either had to remove the handguards, attach your accessory and put them back on, or try to fish a weld nut down in there, screw it on, and then put your handguard back on your gun. Um, Great attachment system if you didn't move stuff around a lot, but it wasn't very user-friendly. Uh, it also didn't have any kind of uniform spacing. The holes were, for the most part, just uh, certainly on the ACR, put where they made the most sense, but you really didn't have a lot of options as to where you can move your accessories around. But there was a ton of accessory support for it from Magpul and other manufacturers, and it really set the, set the stage for MLOC to come along years later. So in 2014, Magpul debuted MLOC at the NRA annual meeting. And MLOC took that Mo concept and really brought it into a much more user-friendly, uh, much more viable concept for the entire industry. So Magpul took a look at some of the other attachment systems out there and found out that not only were they not suited for use in polymer, they really weren't great in metal either. Um, didn't meet our product standards uh, and it just wasn't something we were interested in pursuing so we took the Mo concept and decided to adapt it to a much better system. So the heart of it is the camming T-nut. What that allows you to do is from the front side of the handguard or the outside, drop your accessory on, rotate it a quarter to a half turn, Fire and forget your system is attached, it's strong, it's not coming off. Unlike the original Mo system, which didn't have any recoil lugs, MLOC's actually fully supported on every axis. So what the nuts are doing is really snugging these recoil lugs into that corresponding slot, leaving it nowhere to go. Can't go through the handguard, is not going to pull out of the handguard uh, until you get 300 plus pounds of force on it, which is really hard to generate for a guy holding a gun. Uh, and then the lugs work up and down the handguard and side to side. So you've got a super secure attachment that's not going anywhere. Another feature of MLOC is the uniform spacing. So you're getting roughly 20, 22 millimeter spacing right here in the intervals uh, that you can move your recoil lugs up and down these corresponding slots, which is roughly two Picatinny rail channels. So standardized spacing, um, you can move stuff as you see fit and it's not, not wonky, arbitrary placement with most MLOC handguards. Uh, one of the other things we ran into with other systems was standardization. So with other attachment systems, there was no guarantee you could go buy a hand stop from this company and a rail from this company and have them work together or get optimal results. Um, people would cut corners on the manufacturing, leave features out because it was cheaper or easier to make. Uh, same thing on the accessories, and there was no guarantee that they would stay put under recoil or you could even pull them right through the handguard in some cases. Um, so MLOC's a patented system. We developed it. We have a utility patent on it, and what we do is offer a free license. What that does for you as the user is it gives you the best experience uh, between manufacturers with the system. When a manufacturer signs up for the MLOC program and receives the TDP, it lays out the standards for MLOC, all the dimensions, all the tolerances, all the best practices. And when you participate, what that ensures is when you do go buy that accessory from one manufacturer and a handguard from another, you're pretty much guaranteed they're going to work together as the system's intended and get optimal results, which is a 
great thing for the end user and a great thing for the manufacturer. Uh, as soon as MLOC rolled out, we were fortunate enough to be tested by the Crane Naval Surface Warfare Center, uh, where they were evaluating modular attachment systems against the M1913 Picatinny system. Um, those are available on the internet. Uh, feel free to look them up. You don't have to take our word for it. But MLOC performed really, really well against its competitors and is now pretty much the standard for United States military programs and other programs around the globe. Um, what we've also seen since MLOC came out, ease of manufacture, ease of use, that guaranteed compatibility between manufacturers. Um, MLOC's become the de facto standard for attachment systems for firearms parts, which we're super proud of. Um, had a really rapid uptake, really rapid adoption, and um, the systems just performed as well as we ever could have hoped. You can get pretty much anything in MLOC. Um, anything you could imagine to attach to a firearm. It's the way you attach your slings now, your lights, your foregrips, your bipods. We make rail covers. Um, there's hundreds and hundreds of other manufacturers that make MLOC parts. Um, so if there's something you want, there's a good chance MLOC will support it. Um, and if not, there's a good chance somebody's working on it and it'll make it one day. So in summary, MLOC's the most dominant attachment system in the firearms world today for good reason. Tons of accessory compatibility, um, anything you need to attach to a firearm in a very efficient way, there's an MLOC accessory for it. Magpul makes dozens, then there's hundreds and hundreds of other ones on the market from a bunch of great manufacturers. Uh, and you can be confident that when you get it, it's gonna work with your MLOC mounting surface. Um, MLOC did away with the need to have a rail that's superfluous where you don't have an accessory attached. Um, and brought that kind of to the masses into, into mainstream everyday firearms manufacturing. Um, Picatinny rail is a great system. Uh, there's a reason we still make Picatinny attachments that bolt right into MLOC for legacy compatibility with a lot of flashlights, lasers, optics, uh, accessories that were already on the market that people are very fond of that are only offered in Picatinny. The cool thing is where you don't have those accessories, you're not going with the, the weight and added expense and ergonomic sacrifices of having a Picatinny rail, you know, the, the, the good old cheese grater under your hands. Um, we're super proud of MLOC. We hope you enjoy it. And uh, we've got a more in-depth how-to video with a lot more detail on how to operate the system coming up.